Hi, I'm Bob Welds, and this is a look at radians. A radian is a unit of measurement for angles. Now, you're probably used to using degrees to measure angles, but there are other ways to talk about how big an angle is. Let me start by showing you what a radian is. Let's put a string here at the center of this circle. Now, we'll pin it down at the edge of this circle. Now, the length of this string is one radius. Let's pull the string straight up and then lay it down along the circle. Now, I'll draw lines to connect the start of the string to the center of the circle and then the end of the string to the center of the circle. The angle between these two lines is one radian. That's what a radian is. It's as simple as that. But let's take a closer look. Let's see how many radians there are all the way around the circle. We'll start by seeing how many radians there are halfway around the circle. Here we go. Here's one, two, three radians. And here is a small piece of a radian. Let's see how big that small piece is. Ah, that's interesting. It's 0.14 radians. And do you notice anything special about that number? Maybe the number 0.14 is not that interesting by itself, but look what the total angle is. 3.14 radians. 3.14 is an approximation of pi. In fact, if we could measure this angle exactly, we would see that it is exactly pi radians. So there are pi, or 3.14, radians in 180 degrees. This is all you need to remember to be able to convert radians to degrees and degrees to radians. Let's look at how many radians there are in a full 360 degrees. We'll take 360 degrees and multiply times pi radians over 180 degrees. We can double check that we're doing this the right way because when we multiply the units, the degrees cancel out and we're left with radians. We can simplify this fraction by reducing and we're left with 2 pi as the answer. There are 2 pi radians in 360 degrees. Now let's convert pi over 2 radians, that is half pi, and see how many degrees we get. Since we're starting with radians, we'll flip our ratio over and multiply by 180 degrees over pi radians. This way the radians cancel out and we will be left with degrees. And look at that, the pi's cancel out just like the radian units and we're left with 90 degrees. So here is a look at a circle that has been measured in radians. Here is zero radians. And here is one radian. Here is half pi radians, or 90 degrees. Uh, here is pi radians, or 180 degrees. Then three half pies, or 270 degrees. And finally, all the way around is two pi radians, or 360 degrees. Let me let you try converting degrees to radians. How many radians are there in 30 degrees? Remember the ratio of degrees to radians? You will either multiply by pi radians over 180 degrees, or you'll multiply by 180 degrees over pi radians. Pause the video and think about it. Thirty degrees is equal to pi over six radians. You could also say that it's 0.523 radians because 3.14 divided by six is 0.523, but it's sometimes helpful to keep pi in your answer. Now, do you want to try converting radians to degrees? Okay, here's one. How many degrees is 2.5 radians? Pause the video and think about it. Okay, here's the answer. 143.2 degrees. See? I'll multiply 2.5 by 180 degrees over pi radians. The radians cancel out and we're left with 143.2 degrees, give or take a few hundredths of a degree. You might notice that radians are a lot bigger than degrees, so you use fewer of them than you would degrees. And that's another way you can help keep track of whether to multiply by pi over 180 or 180 over pi. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. I'm Bob Welds, and these are Weld Notes.